This is Gene Key, SkySurf News. Texas residents were evacuated after a train derailment. KCENTV.com reports from Basque County. The Texas Department of Public Safety, Basque County Sheriff's Office, and hazardous materials crews were on the scene of a major train derailment in Basque County over the weekend. The derailment happened around 5 p.m. Saturday, six miles north of Valley Mills city limits. The DPS said it's unclear why 12 of the train's 40 cars went off the tracks. Seven of the derailed cars were flatbeds carrying drilling pipe and five were tankers containing methanol. A few of the derailed tankers had leaked. Homes in the area had to be evacuated as a precaution. No injuries have been reported. A Houston mother is carjacked with her young son in the car. KHOU.com reports from Houston. Police are investigating a mother and son's frightening encounter with a carjacker outside a busy supermarket. Erica Jackson says she was returning her shopping cart to a cart stand when a man jumped into her car, told her 8-year-old son to get out, and then took off. The incident happened at a supermarket in southwest Houston. Authorities say she left the ignition key on while returning the cart. Erica said it's something she'll never do again. A suspect surrenders after a fatal shooting in a Garland home. WFAA.com reports from Garland. Police investigated a fatal shooting on Saturday afternoon. A department spokesperson said the incident happened just before 3 p.m. when an argument between 31-year-old Joseph Robick, who is the son of the homeowner, and 65-year-old Ray Keach. According to authorities, Robick pulled out a gun and killed the older man at the scene. Robick called police to report the gunfire and is now in custody. Police said Robick will be charged with murder and is now in the Dallas County Jail. Galveston beaches get a $41 million makeover. The Associated Press reports from Galveston. Officials in Galveston have approved a plan to spend $41 million to improve the Southeast Texas Island City's two largest beaches. The Houston Chronicle reports the improvements will include boardwalks, retail stores, restaurants, bathrooms, and a pavilion. The plan, which has been in the works for a year, was approved last week by the Galveston Park Board to improve Stewart Beach and East Beach Parks. The plan also includes signage, mobile restrooms, bike racks, and food trucks. Under the plan, the pothole-filled road to East Beach is expected to be repaired before the coming summer beach season. This is Gene Key, SkyServe News. 